and we now have 10, 11 P2 pluses in uh, our EMS services. So we have a long experience since, since year 2000 with the 135. We have the aircraft on our basis. It's a 24-hour service, so the aircraft is on operation 24 hours a day, and the aircraft just runs. One of the really good things about uh, the 135 is its reliability. The 135 is perfectly suited, as a, especially as a primary aircraft for EMS. We have a lot of experience with it, very happy with it. We have a high requirement as far as the performance goes. With our aircraft in Norway, they are very well equipped. We use them IFR. We have a weather radar, weather and search radar. We also use it for human external cargo, so we have the dual hook installation. So, so our aircraft is heavily equipped. As the service expands, gets more uh, complicated, the aircraft gets heavier, and we're always looking for more performance. What we wanted to do was, we wanted to test the aircraft compared to our P2 Plus in real conditions in the mountains, in simulated missions where we can really feel anybody can read a flight manual, but we wanted to have live experience with the performance increase. And, and I must say we were impressed by the aircraft. The, the benefits, especially in mountainous operations, we had uh, difficult conditions, high winds, 40, 50 knot winds in the mountains, and it was a good comparison between the two aircraft. We loaded them 180 kilos different, so the T3, 180 kilos heavier than our aircraft, and we found them to be at least comparable, if not still the T3 having more margin in the mountains. So this was a, a big benefit for us and a, an interesting test in our real life missions. The biggest conclusion from our test was that the new T3 gives us the extra performance that we've been wanting in the 135 and also the added tail rotor authority for our uh, mountain operations.